since it's warm today, we decided to go for a swim. I'm just waiting for the dinosaurs to come and take us. This is the Czech version of Aquaman. Wow, I didn't expect this. Hi guys, I'm Tommy. And I'm Peter. Welcome back to our channel. We are still on our staycation and we are on another hike for another trip. We are visiting a nearby town mm -hmm. with another interesting uh, palace. Yeah. Which you may see behind us now. It's a historic little cute town, I think. And there are more sites there. Mm -hmm. So we are going to check them out. And yeah, just walk around. This palace is called the New Palace. Uh, there are more palaces or castles in this town. So this is the new one. Maybe from the 18th century, I don't know. We haven't read about it. Uh, there is some reconstruction going on. But that shouldn't bother us. We are not going for a guided tour or anything. We will just walk here in this park. And yeah, we'll see how pretty it is. I found out the palace is actually a retirement home, <laughs> but it was very nice to see. Yeah, and now it's time to move to another place. Mm -hmm. Let's go! So why did you take me to a cemetery again? It belongs to the palace. But we found out it's actually a normal cemetery uh, that belongs to the village. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty. Cemeteries here are usually quite nicely decorated mm -hmm. with flowers and I don't know, it's pretty. Yeah. And it's close to the retirement home, which is convenient. <laughs> anyway, we will continue with our journey and we'll see what's next for us. Is that the old palace? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is this is the old castle. Okay. The weather is not the best today. <laughs> it's quite windy right now. Yeah. I'm sure you can see that. But we still wanted to make a short trip at least. We are close to our country house, exploring this little town with these nice uh, castles or palaces. And I absolutely love this view because I love uh, a lot of green. Mm -hmm. Trees on hills is my favorite kind of views. Yeah. So I love it here. Yeah, this was a nice surprise. And what's next? I guess we're going down there. Yeah. Somehow. We're going down to the valley. It's quite deep. And then again up. And around. There are supposed to be some ruins on that hill. We don't see anything, but according to my magical map, 
something is there. So we'll see. Or not. Or not. We are in a quite deep canyon and I think it looks amazing here. Very high rocks and to me it's similar to something from Jurassic Park or something. I'm just waiting for the dinosaurs to come and take us. Hopefully not. <laughs> you know what's interesting? That there are not that many insects here. In these forests we are used to an attack but nothing here so it makes the experience even more pleasant it's a nice change yes this trail is almost non-existent <laughs> but we're used to that we yeah. often hike off the beaten path yeah. <laughs> and Peter likes dragging me through mud usually <laughs> so yeah, business as usual <laughs> That's where we were before Yeah And now we are here on the other side of the valley It's amazing how all of a sudden the canyon is here because you wouldn't have guessed when you are in the town or on the other side in the fields. Look at these guys, bones of a bird or something, here, maybe they had a nest here, wow, but we are really high up. Mistletoe! Come kiss me under the tree. Oh my god, it would <laughs> so, be impossible. So romantic. Oh. But they are perfect. Yeah. The shape and everything. You can come here for Christmas. Maybe we can kiss here? Does it count? I didn't expect this. Yeah, me neither. Another lookout point. But such a great lookout point. Yeah. So the pretty building behind me is the old palace. But there also used to be a castle here where we are standing right now. But apparently there are no remnants anymore. So this is really great. Look at the castle behind us. Yeah. Or above us. Or below us? It's everywhere. We are so 
circling the castle from all directions. And what amazes me is that we haven't met anyone, right honey? Yeah, all day, no yeah. one. So this is like forgotten little town. No one here, no one is interested, but I think it looks really pretty. This guy here, this is the Czech version of Aquaman. <laughs> I don't know, there isn't any term in English, I think. So they live in water, mainly in ponds, but they can live in rivers too. And they are usually nice, but at the same time, they wait for you, they drown you and then they take your soul and put it into a small mug and keep it there. I don't know why, but yeah, so that's quite interesting. They sound lovely. <laughs> and maybe they would be called Waterman? Waterman, maybe so... Underwaterman, probably Waterman. <laughs> waiting for the sun so Peter allowed me to have an apple <laughs> <laughs> and the sun came too fast we are now at a small water reservoir which is also in the same town uh, it's kind of dirty there's something green growing inside so I don't think we're gonna go for a swim here mm -hmm. but it's pretty and uh, this is what they call a beach apparently nobody's here which is nice and this is the second part of the beach pretty it would be quite nice to go into water here because it's so peaceful no one around but there are cyanobacteria in the water we looked that up in Google. <laughs> they started building this dam almost 100 years ago. Uh huh. Yeah. Or over 100 years ago. Yeah. So cool. Look at the cyanobacteria there, the green stuff floating on the water surface. There is a lot of it here. anyway and that ends our journey today yeah we are getting close to our car now and that will be it. our little trip is over yeah we successfully finished our hike yeah, and I think it was really like dense, or I don't know, many places to see here. Yeah, many points of interest close to each other. Mm -hmm. We thought we would be here just for a couple of hours and we spent the whole day. Of course, it's evening. Yeah. 
our usual time. But still daylight. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. That's so an improvement. It wasn't that long. <laughs> we're back at our car. Yeah. Now we're going home to cook dinner. Since it's warm today, we decided to go for a swim. And since we got a car, Peter doesn't want to walk anymore. <laughs> so he navigated me through this field. Uh, he didn't want to walk from that road, which is like 100 meters away, where you can see the cars passing by. So we came all the way to the water and parked here on this beautiful spot under the tree. And now we're going to explore to see if it's possible to swim here actually. So let's go and find out. Yeah, come on. And 30 seconds later, here we are. It looks actually pretty good. Yeah. I think we could go for a swim here. Unless it's too cold. Our private beach. <laughs> this is not this is not bad. Yeah. I'm it nice looks good. Surprised. How is it possible? And we can choose where we wanna be because it seems like nobody else is here. There is except one person. Go maybe on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So let's go. I put one of Tommy's speedos on. Woohoo! It's a bit revealing. Wow. Oh. Here, and it's not like we are putting it into the world this video or something. <laughs> and okay, I want to talk about the lake. So it's an old Kelvin mine which was later transformed into a lake. They mined clay here. The water is... usual coldish, <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, we are going in. So let's go, Tommy. Go. I'll be right behind you. Ta -da! So quick. <laughs> Usually takes him like a half an hour. How was it? Great, it's so refreshing. Yeah. I love it. Now it's my turn apparently. In one of my other speedos. <laughs> Let's see if Peter was lying about the temperature of the water. Normal temperature. Yeah. Cold, but not too cold. Yeah, but not warm. It's never warm here. Yeah. We don't have any thermal springs. But you are almost in. I like the surface. It's not yeah. muddy. Yeah. It's the sand or kaolin, right? Mm hmm. Nice. something different about you. <laughs> yes, so Tommy Speedos went away. I had to change because they weren't that comfortable. <laughs> so this is more comfy now. And in the meantime, four people arrived and one dog. <laughs> so we are not alone anymore. And yeah, but they are on the other side of the lake. It's still very great here. Yes. It's time to sunbathe now. The sun is shining. It's a really nice day to be here. Uh, but soon I think we will have to find a shade mm -hmm. so that we don't get sunburned. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Look where we are. Nice views at the lake. Yeah, such a pretty place again. We're happy we found it. We mm -hmm. can come back whenever we want. It's not that far from our country house. Yeah. I mean, it's like half an hour ride 
by car. That's not too bad. I agree. <laughs> it was a great discovery. Now some people are coming, yeah. but it's still quite empty. But we were expecting that. We came before lunch, mm -hmm. so it was empty. Yeah. And then after lunch, people typically go for a swim. It's still vacation time mm -hmm. for one more week or so. So, yeah. Maybe if we come back a couple of weeks later, it will be completely empty all day. Yeah. I remember uh, when I was in kindergarten mm -hmm. and uh, at basic school, uh, we went to learn how to swim the whole class. Yeah, we did that too. It was like, I'm not sure, it wasn't mandatory, but it was just something, it was done. Yeah, almost everyone yeah. went. And then they always split us into three groups, mm -hmm. non-swimmers, half-swimmers and swimmers. Yeah. And both times I was a non-swimmer. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was actually afraid of water. I was afraid to get in and uh, even by the end of the course I was able to swim like 10 or 15 meters <laughs> <laughs> and I remember one time when we were learning how to jump in I was afraid to jump into the water from above and they pushed me you. to force me <laughs> they pushed me to learn to jump and I hated that I hate being forced to do something yeah, they shouldn't have done that <laughs> So after that I was done with swimming. <laughs> but then, many years later, yeah. I came onto scene and I somehow not taught you, but you know, we went swimming more. Yeah, because I didn't go very often. Mm -hmm. I, I had no one to go with and it didn't feel like a good activity for me, so I, I didn't go. Yeah, but with me, with me, you got used to it. Yeah, yeah, we went more often and mm -hmm. now I'm, I'm able to swim for a bit at least. Yeah, you are quite good. <laughs> and you, when you were learning? I was a swimmer, I guess, but I never learned different styles uh -huh. of swimming. Just the basic, I don't know how it's called, but the basic one. Uh -huh. And the fast one? No, the slow one. Ah, uh, what do we call frog? Frog. Yeah. We call it breasts. Or butterfly. No. no or butterfly, butterfly is going under the water. Butterfly is more difficult. Uh -huh. Yeah, breasts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that, but I never was much of a swimmer. Uh -huh. Like, you know, that I enjoyed it and I wanted to be in water mm -hmm. for a long time. For me, it was just fun to go into water, uh -huh. swim for a bit, and then. <laughs> I never understood that, like, uh, people go to the beach and they don't even go to the water and they just uh, lie on the beach and then the whole day. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, the part where you go into water is important, uh -huh. but a little while is enough for me. <laughs> yeah. And now we go whenever we can, right? Yeah. We don't, we don't still go very often because we have other activities to do, mm -hmm. but when there's a chance, when we are close to a body of water, yeah. we always try to jump in. Yeah, that's true. When we find some lake or something, mm -hmm. then we go. It's yeah. not like we hate water, yeah. but it's about the opportunities, I think. Mm -hmm. Now we found this one. Yeah. It's very pretty, not many people. I think the people factor is important to us. Mm -hmm. We don't want many people to be there. Yeah, we want peace and quiet, mm -hmm. yeah. like now. Yeah. This place is amazing. Mm -hmm. We will definitely come back again. Yeah. There are some clouds in the sky just when I left the water. <laughs> so cold suddenly. Peter doesn't believe me. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> I am melting here. But at least we won't get sunburned yeah. now. But it'll be gone soon again. For five minutes, yeah. we are in the shade. It's getting late and more people arrived after work. Yeah, so that was a cue for us to leave. <laughs> yeah, but we spent several hours here in the sun. It was more than enough. So we will head back home now. Mm -hmm. It was totally enough. I agree. So yeah, I think that was it. 
for today's video. Uh, give us thumbs up if you like the video. Comment if you have anything interesting to say. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more from us. And see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.